hello thanks for watching my video so I'm gonna do like a, a bit of a let's play now that we've got the new eco living pack um, I've never played it before so I don't know whether it's just gonna be a one episode thing um, I wanna just see how much I can uh, find out about this pack in uh, in one video it might be that it needs two maybe it even needs three but only one way to find out. So I'll introduce you to our main character. Here she is, Nia. Um, I kind of made her using only the stuff from Eco Lifestyle. Apologies if I say Eco Living. It's just, for some reason, it comes more natural to say Eco Living than Eco Lifestyle. So uh, yeah, I'll show you where she lives. I didn't go for the house with the crane in the end. I just went for an apartment. So this is the apartment when you go through the front door. You've got your living and kitchen area, and then a pretty small dining area over here. Again, I kind of tried to use just the stuff from the pack. Refreshingly, there was the option to have matching wood, which was nice. It's nice to have a change, ain't it? And uh, this is the bathroom. I tried to make a flower wall. I'm quite pleased with it, actually. This is what I would want in my real life bathroom. I would like to bathe in front of a wall of flowers. And then the bedroom over here, very green. Um, I gave our sim all of the uh, eco lifestyle traits. So, you know, she cares about recycling and shit. She cares about um, sustainable living, trying to save the planet. She really gets a raging boner for all that. So let's see how we get on. Well, she's pretty pissed off already from getting a bad deal from purchasing a new item. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna live to regret these traits, aren't I? Okay, it's 8 a.m. We've got the whole day ahead of us. Uh, so you get, t I think you get a couple of jobs with this. One of them is just a normal job that they go away to, and then another one is a freelance career. So let's take a look. Let's try and get a job first off. So there's the civil designer career. So you get to get involved in planning and designing solutions to the environmental problems and that then branches out to either green technician or civic planner. I guess that's dependent on whether you choose for your neighbourhood to go down the modern route or whether you choose for it to go down the green route. So apparently the next career is a freelancer. Right, okay, and this is like the uh, craftable one where you can do fabrication, juice fizzer, candle maker. I think I'd rather her have the, um, the full career though. I'm going to change it to the... Um, the main career I think. I don't like it when you know the career is in my hands and I have to do the work for her. I'd rather she just go to work and do what she's got to do. So actually we'll be a civil designer instead. Yeah we'll do that. Acquire recycled materials. Okay. Straight in then. No hesitation. So we should probably try and find a recycler. So let's go for a little wander, see what we can do. It's 9am, the day is our own. Uh, maybe I'll go to this community space and put a vote in to turn it into a um, maker's space. Because I don't really want to have to go through the trouble of buying fucking recycling machines and all of that for every single sim I play with. Right, where's the voting board? Where's the community voting board? Oh, I could only vote in our home neighbourhood. Oh, that's annoying. We can check the action plans, though. Okay, so basically, if you want to make a change in the districts, you have to actually be living in that neighbourhood. So whilst I'm playing it as this sim, I can only actually change the um, community lot in her neighbourhood. Which is a bit fucking annoying, but... Oh, she seems to be doing something of her own accord, though. Sorting out com compostables. Oh, recycle from inventory. Did we put anything in our inventory? So we can recycle the books and we can recycle the compost pile. <laughs> Let's recycle both. That should help us with our, with our job. Oh, you can see the rubbish like fumbling around and getting crushed. This is very different to any kind of game I've played before. You received your first bits and pieces. Mm, great. And we've done what we needed to do to... Uh, get a promotion so good news all round voting is open okay so from what I understand 
I can go and vote um, on the community board in my neighbourhood, but you have to have like a certain level of influence, first of all, to vote in the first place, but also to try and influence other people to vote for what you want. Um, and for the community centre in her neighbourhood, I want them to have a community garden. So I'm going to get her to introduce herself to a few people just so she can build up her influence and then just try and get everyone to decide to do what we want them to do, you know? Worst case scenario, there's always blackmail. Worst, worst case scenario, there's always hoe it up. One way or another, we will get our way, so not worried about that. Oh, couple of people here. Just go around introducing yourself to people. Don't be so shy. Introduce yourself. Get some influence. Become an icon. So I have nine influence points. That's not even enough to vote, I don't think. I think you need to have... I think you need to have uh, ten influence points just, just to vote. So do you know what? I know I always do this, but we, we should probably just go to the bar. I mean, we've got real reason to. So let's go there. We need some influence points, so there's, you know, there's a, a real calling for it, okay? Everyone's got to have their thing, and mine is that all of my sims love a drink. All right, what can I say? I didn't choose this path, this path chose me. Here we are, the caboose. Oh, wait, there's someone here. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself, get yourself the, those influence points. Is this the smoggy part? Oh, s look at this, such a shithole. It's actually um, visually quite nice. Like the, the colour of the sky, the puddles on the floor. Detailed, it's in the details. A few people in here we can introduce ourselves to as well. Oh, we've already introduced ourselves to her. Okay, fine, we'll introduce ourselves to him. And you, we'll just order a drink from you. Oh, let's find out her favourite drink. It's my favourite game find out what their favourite drink is. I reckon she is like a mojito looking girl. That's what I, that's what I reckon. Every time I start a game with a female, the first uh, moodler is always just about to have my period. <laughs> uh, this isn't part of the game, it's part of the uh, slice of life mod from Kawaii Stacy. Oh, what are we having? What are we having? Mojito? Mojito? What's it gonna be? Oh, wait, let's have a look. Oh, I can read these sims like a book. If that's not a mojito, I don't know what is. How funny. Okay, go and introduce yourself to all these people and then go to the voting board. And then you should have enough influence to be able to get everyone to decide to build a community garden. That's what we want. Also, what's the situation with our job? Do we not need any skills or anything? Completing daily tasks, maintaining high relation. Okay, so I don't need any skills then for this. Oh, sweet. Okay. 37 influence points. We're like a profesh. Okay, let's go over to the uh, community board then and uh, vote for what we want. I like this. I really like the stuff it gets you to do. Like, if you really want it there, I like that it puts you in a position where you should actually go and meet your neighbours and try and convince them to vote for what you want them to vote for. Because usually I don't really bother with the neighbours. Fuck the neighbours. But I quite like that there's an incentive to not just play, but build a community. Oh, I'm so soppy. Okay, vote on action plans and then vote on the community space. Yep. Cast your vote. Neighbourhood action plans. What does Nia vote for? Oh, so this tells us how many people have already voted, does it? Back to the old days. Eco-friendly appliances. Fun-loving community. Juice community's got the most votes. Of course it does. Well, I mean, obviously my vote is going there. No question. So this is what it looks like when they're making a vote. Community space voting. Community garden. That's what we want. Give the people what they want. There we go. Who's that over there? Let's go and introduce ourselves. She doesn't live here though, does she? I'm sure she's from another world. Yeah, fires. She's from Windenburg. <laughs> the fact that I even know that. <sighs> I need to get myself a life, stop playing The Sims. <laughs> okay, now this woman is clearly a townie from this world. So is it gonna give me an option? Convince to support. Well, I would rather convince her to support my, um, my choice for the community. Ask if Faye wants kids. 
<laughs> right, I'm going to get her to uh, support our idea of being a juice community. Will you support our idea of turning the village into a bunch of alcoholics? Is that someone else over there? Is she part of this, uh, this community as well? Is she going over to the board? Hold on, hold on. Oh, for fuck's sake, Nia, get over here. Pull your finger out of your ass. Come on. Yep, convinced to support what we want her to support. Juice community. We are winning this neighbourhood over. We are getting juiced. It's gonna happen. There are a few interactions. Enthuse about city planning. Discuss... Actually, I think discuss neighbourhood changes was always there. I don't think that came from this pack, actually. Talk about the environment. Interview about utilities. A few new interactions. And we're going to do them all. We're going to discuss it all with her. See how much insight this woman has. Do we have any skills? Oh, one skill. One logical skill. We didn't even get a skill from recycling. Well, what's the point then? <laughs> Is, did that woman just eat a bowl of food that she just found in the, in the trash? Die for, die for meals? Die for deals. Okay, let's do that. I mean, she is like a eco, a pro eco sim, so waste not, want not. Nia is a freegan sim. Freegan sims is all about cost free, waste free living. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be a fuck it. She is gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't she? Oh, I made a mistake. She found a chill box. Shut up! She found a fridge. She found a fridge in the dumpster. All right, have another look then. I didn't even buy her a fridge, so yeah. Look again. See if you can find a karaoke machine this time. A soundtastic, fantastic royale. Oh, sweet. I mean, it does say they'll all be in questionable uh, condition, so I'm guessing they're either broken or they'll work for like five minutes. Check the latest gossip. Okay, yes please. Vote to make this neighbourhood a better place. Wow, what a juicy bit of gossip there. I mean, we already voted on the community space projects. Can we vote again? Could we just vote as many times? Oh, okay, I've used all of them, but that's okay. That's okay. Right, let's go home, because she's getting really pissy and on her fucking period about the whole, uh, the storm. A little bit of rain. Can't handle a bit of rain, so all right, let's go home. Right, now we're home. I didn't put these fucking planters here for no reason. Uh, right, so we're gonna grow some fruit on this one, and some herbs? Yeah. How do I plant, though? How do I fucking plant? I've bought the seeds. Let me plant the seeds. Well, okay, what if I place them in the world? Does that make any difference, or what's the situation there? So I can only open them. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, okay. <laughs> fucking numb nuts has got it, finally. So I need to drag it into the world, and then I can plant them. Okay, I get it, I get it. Very good, you almost had me there, Sims. But now it's just giving me the option to eat it. The fuck? Okay. So, stop eating them, stop eating them. So if I put these in the plant box, can you tell I've never planted before? I've never had an interest in it. But now that we've got a pack that's all about, you know, sustainable living and all that, I figured I'll give it a go. But turns out I have no fucking idea how to actually plant anything in this game. <gasps> yes, okay, yes, right, success, success. Right, so now open this one and then we'll stick that motherfucker in there. Why is she just walking around naked? So, what, girl, what the? <laughs> oh, you gotta laugh. Oh, these mods, honestly. Right, go and plant this whenever you're done. Holy shit, that's grown already? Can I upgrade it? No. Can I water it, at least? Do I need to buy a watering can? I wonder. Uh, well, I guess not. It doesn't look like you can get one, so it should be fine. It should be fine. Who needs a fridge? We can just live off herbs. She's looking very blushed. Are you pleased with yourself? You seem pretty pleased with yourself. Completely, I, no, she's completely satisfied with herself. <laughs> Fuck me. This is the one few times I'm trying to make a video that isn't going to be explicit or inappropriate. And what do you go and do? <sighs> Ruined it. <laughs> I'm just incapable of making anything PG, aren't I? Well, I mean, just be yourself. Don't try and be something you're not. And uh, I've learnt my lesson. I'll never try and be family friendly again. I don't know why I've been saying that I plan on this being family friendly. I've been swearing the whole way through this video anyway. So I'm, I'm just a fucking liar. Right, we've got work in the morning. So go to bed and go to sleep. Mean that. 
go to sleep and then we'll see how tomorrow goes. Oh, work Phineas starts in about one hour. What would you like to do? Go to work, work from home, take PTO. Uh, work from home, how do we work from home? What do we need to do to do that? Well, actually, before you do anything, get in the bath, you stinky bitch. Take a bath and then we'll try and get some work done. Yeah, sound like a good idea? I think so too. I'm not zooming in to try and copper a look, by the way. I just, I, I just really like looking at the flowers, okay? So we have to acquire recycled materials. Easy, done that, we can do that again. And acquire an eco upgrade part. Use a fabricator. Oh, but we don't have a fabricator. So this plant is dead already then. <sighs> this one looks like it's thriving. Harvest all. I can't believe how quickly that grew. What's this? Cheat eco lifestyle role behavior. <laughs> no, I won't. Oh, the voting period is almost over. Okay, you have to vote by today at 6 p.m. So hopefully that means tomorrow we'll have a firm decision and some changes will be in place. But acquire recycled material, right? We need to get we need to get on the streets, girl. Stop watching TV. Pull your finger out. Let's go. I don't know how I can get my hands on a fabricator though without buying one because we as it stands we don't have uh, a makers station I mean these people do but are they gonna shout at me if I just invite myself round and start using their shit well let's fuck it I'm gonna go round there and actually no let's go to this place first and get some recyclables and then we'll pop to our neighbor's house and see if we can sponge uh, their machine off them worst case scenario we've got hoe it up so maybe we can offer a trade you scratch my butt. Okay, we can recycle this stuff because we don't really need it. I mean, it's a it's a, hump, a heap of rubbish anyway. Like, it's not going to give us anything. Um, basically said they're useless, so may as well. Right, so that bit's done. We've got some recycled materials. Now to find a fabricator. So let's find one. Right, fuck it. We're coming over. We're going to give it a try. Worst case scenario, they kick us out. Hey there, neighbour. So you got one of them uh, fabricators? No, but they do have a candle maker. We need a wax block. Where can we get a wax block from? Oh, there's another community board over here. Check neighborhood action plans. Yeah, okay. Oh, nothing. Well, that was an absolute waste of time then, wasn't it? Absolute waste of time. Right, okay. We're go plan B. Let's go home. I might have to admit defeat and just buy one of these fucking fabricator machines. Right, so I've bought this. It cost basically all of my Sims money and I had to move all of the furniture, but fuck it. Oh wait, what did it say on my job description? Acquire an eco upgrade part. Okay, fabricated eco upgrade part, there we go. Stop watching TV as a, as a default. You're meant to be working from home. Ooh, we just acquired the fabrication skill. This is pretty nifty. Very uh, futuristic. I think I might just stick this in my inventory when I finish so I can use it whenever I need to. Because I reckon I'm gonna need to use this a lot in this career. Yay! We find joy in working with the fabricator, woodworking table, and candle making station. Sweet, okay, it's in our inventory. Well, now I've done that, I'm gonna stick this in my inventory and then uh, put this stuff back. <laughs> she was sat on it. There we go. Okay, let's take a wander back to the uh, local community area. Yeah, Sprucewood Square. Any update on what's happening with this lot? Like, it says a lot about the uh, community action plan, which the deadline is today, but what about the actual community lot? Not enough points. Okay, so we need to try and make enough points to get a community garnet. Some fuckers have come and started voting for a marketplace. Right, I'm just gonna go around, introduce myself to a load of people, and hopefully make enough points to try and turn this dump into something. Just introduce yourself to everyone. Okay, I just got some more points from making a load of friends. So hopefully we can get enough uh, points. Go on, vote on the board, vote on the board. We need to see a change. Okay, it's got 10 votes. Does that mean it's gonna happen? How many votes does it need for it to be, you know, a done deal? How are we gonna seal this deal? I'm just gonna go make friends with some more people then. Hello, do you wanna be my friend? Let's just talk to him about eco shit. Compliment his body. <laughs> No, no, we'll just keep it friendly. Okay, so voting should close in an hour. So I'm gonna fast forward time. Hopefully it will be able to just be converted straight away. And I'm not sure what I can do to like improve the 
footprint and stuff there's a load of trash around keep keep looking for deals keep diving for stuff oh well it's 6 p.m it's done sweet voting is now closed fun loving community received the most votes for the community and will take effect immediately and also this is what the uh, new community lot looks like oh brilliant well that's one district sorted should we farm some beetles and then we'll farm some crickets we'll really get this place alive you know make it a, a world worth living in this is so beautiful with the um the lighting and then we'll plant some flowers oh this is lovely there we go we've taken a shit heap and we've turned it into something useful so is is that it here then yeah we've got um we've got skylines and things here now so hopefully that should improve the the rubbish it should help clean up i mean i'm guessing every lot needs to have some stuff that's like eco living ish but that should hopefully try and help turn this place into a green place so i reckon the more every lot has stuff like solar panels and stuff like this the um nicer this place is going to be i mean this is already like a normal place but um it should turn this place into like a green environment as well like the other part although the other part is full of trash as well so i guess they're two separate things the eco footprint and then the uh the rubbish but i'm pretty pleased with that well done nia well done right go home and then let's see how far we can get you with this career shall we this is the roof i wonder if i can put any like energy promoting stuff on here oh i don't think i can can i no i was hoping i could maybe put some like solar panels up there i probably can't whilst i'm playing her but maybe i can if i'm playing someone else not entirely sure but she's got some pretty, like, green things around here. Right, I'm going to send her to bed. Um, I mean, to be honest, I've been playing this game for a while, so I should end it soon. Um, I'm going to end it when she gets a promotion. Then I'll be happy to finish it there. And then maybe I'll do, like, another video in uh, another district in the world. Probably the one where all the, like, smog and stuff is. Probably do that, yeah. Yeah, she can go to work this time. Right, time to go to work. See you in a bit. Have fun. Make friends. Be nice. <laughs> Little uniform. Well, it's looking good. She's in, like, excellent and there's a tick. Ah, oh, yes. Promotion. Promoted to Architectural Apprentice. Fantastic news. Well, with that, I'm gonna end this episode here. So, I will. Uh, but I don't think this will be the last video I make on uh, Eco Lifestyle. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Oh, I've just noticed before I go, uh, when you look at the Eco Footprint, Smogville is now neutral, thanks to all the work we did over here. So, it did some good and spread over to this part, which is really good. Sweet. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Thanks. Bye.